PyCharm's first release of 2020 is available with improvements across the IDE. Let's take a look at what's new in PyCharm 2020.1. Our version control system integration got a lot of attention in this release cycle. Want to clean up the commit history on a branch, but you're intimidated by the command line? In our new Git Focus tool window, our also new interactive rebase puts a pretty face on this. Select the commit to use as the starting point and launch interactive rebasing. You now get a dialog letting you reorder commits, squash two commits together, edit a commit message, and more. For new installs, VCS commit is now a tool window allowing a more continuous style of versioning. Check diffs, select files, and chunks to commit, edit your commit message, and more. Previous users can enable this in a setting. Other VCS improvements in 2020.1, improvements to the branches pop up, and PyCharm now installs Git if you don't already have it. PyCharm 2020.1 has several helpful improvements for working in Python projects. Just getting started with Python development and need a Python install? On Windows, PyCharm now detects that you don't have a Python installation, then prompts you to install in the background. Working with a dependency and you want to pin it to a version? Our quick fix to add the package to requirements.txt is improved with a new dialog box to collect extra information, such as the version number to pin. This is then added to the requirements file. Our debugger has been PyCharm's star feature through the years, and we made Smart Step the default in 2020.1. If you're debugging and stopped on a line with multiple calls, Step Into now highlights each possible step to take. You can then click on the direction to step. Other Python features and improvements in PyCharm 2020.1 support flake no QA comments to suppress inspections, improved autocomplete using machine learning, better updating of pip and setup tools in virtual environments, quick fix for missing Python interpreter. PyCharm's web development story has always been strong on the front end and the back end. Let's take a quick look at what's improved in 2020.1. Working in Django and need to load a custom template filter or tag? Rather than interrupt your flow, we can generate the template load for you, just like we do for Python imports. Same is true for filters implemented in the app. When a template uses a filter without a load, you get an unresolved filter warning with a quick fix. Also improved in 2020.1, when using Vue in a front end, the Vuex store library is now supported, as well as the new Composition API in Vue 3. Also, PyCharm uses Cookie Cutter when generating a new pyramid project. Our IDE platform team has been hard at work and PyCharm 2020.1 has many usability improvements. PyCharm 2020.1 ships with Light Edit, our start at a lightweight editor. You can open a single file with no project, either by right-clicking in your file manager or as shown here from the command line. You then get a minimal editor. If you like our integrated terminal but want two sessions at once, 2020.1 introduces split terminal sessions. This lets you run a tool in one terminal and still do work at another. Other IDE improvements in PyCharm 2020.1? We now bundle JetBrains Mono, our open source font designed for development, easier configuration of the status bar, you can preview a code intention before applying it. Usability improvements to our quick documentation pop-ups. PyCharm 2020.1 brings improvements to our version control support, better developer experience in Python projects, and new features in web development and the IDE platform. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy PyCharm 2020.1.